let's get this chicken started. Let's get this derby moving. Let's get this. Hey there, Jamie. Guess what? It's Tuesday. Something a little bit different for you guys this time. A little bit of mystery, a little bit of intrigue, and the internet, which is all the things we love. Especially the bird. The bird is chatty. So if you're like most of my friends, and in fact a good portion of the world, you've never heard of an organization, or a person, or something like that, called Cicada 3301. What is this? We're not really sure. In a nutshell, Cicada 3301 is some kind of mysterious organization that sends out via the internet recruitment tests. Since it went public in January of 2012, Cicada 3301 has been the interest and the focus of a lot of hacker based organizations and groups, a lot of hacker specialized people, conspiracy theorists, people like myself who love a little bit of mystery and intrigue, and the bowels of the internet. Think of it like the Illuminati, except unlike the Illuminati, it's not an internet meme, and it's not fake. I'll throw you guys a couple of links in the thingy below that'll give you an explanation as to what Cicada 3301 is to what we know, and it'll help to get you guys caught up on what, I, what, what, what little I know of it, honestly, and what little the world knows of it. I think I know just about as much as everybody else does, and that's not much. Or if you'd rather, you can just Plug your ears and pretend it doesn't exist. That, that is equally as fine, actually. That might be the better solution if you're a paranoid, delusional schizo. What I want to talk to you guys about today is what Cicada 3301 represents to me and what it could potentially mean for our social orders, the way we think of power, and what it could mean for organizations that operate in the shadows. As we all know, the advent of the internet has drastically changed for better or for worse how our society operates. Most of us would say for the better. I like the better. I'm gonna go with the better. I'm a little bit optimistic in that sense. But the internet is a largely double-edged sword. While we have very useful things that have come out of it, and a lot of useful features that we can get out of the internet, it also has entire worlds beneath the beneath the beneath the darker bowels of the internet. Which, if you're more like anyone else, you don't know about them. It's called the deep web. If you value your sanity, you will stay away. Cicada 3301 is a prime example of an organization that utilizes both facets of the internet and is able to operate in our interconnected world largely anonymously. Like, this is more anonymous than anonymous is. Like, we all know who anonymous is. They do advertisements and videos every once in a while, but these guys are even more anonymous. Not only are they able to operate within the internet, the dark web, all of that, without leaving any traces of who they are or how they can be tracked down, but they can operate in our society without anyone knowing who they are, and even across borders. There has actually been proof that this organization is able to operate not only in the United States, where it predominantly operates as far as we can tell, but in the United Kingdom, several Eastern European countries, and Russia, and in, I think, one instance, China. Like, everywhere. And China's not exactly easy to get in and out of. Oh, and South Korea. People and entire groups Hell, entire organizations could operate invisibly in our world, across the internet, all of that, with the proper knowledge and proper know-how, and we would be completely oblivious to their actions. How hard would it be to believe that a group like this could seize control of our world and change everything? Everything is connected by the internet. It's been proven multiple times that hackers have been able to get into all sorts of top secret files and government organizations, stuff like that. They could change everything in our world if they wanted to. Which, I hope they don't, because the world's kind of messed up. Unless they're going to make some significant improvements, leave it alone. Now, I know that sounds very tinfoil hat-esque, and anyone who knows me on a personal level knows that I'm usually the first person to poke fun at conspiracy theorists, because honestly, they're all bonkers, they're all nuts. And half the conspiracy theories are just... So did you hear about the lizard people are and how it actually controls the government? And how no matter what you're doing right now, you are being brainwashed by radio waves. Now, that's not to say everything that comes out of this sort of thing is all doom and gloom. There are a lot of benefits to organizations like this being able to operate. And especially with the way this is particularly operating. These aren't easy. These are insanely difficult. The fact that Cicada 3301's recruiting process is so insanely complicated and so sophisticated is actually a huge milestone towards human intelligence and how far we have intellectually evolved as a species. According to the Wikipedia page of compiled tests that Cicada 3301 has run thus far, this isn't just about computer hackery and decoding. No, it covers a huge range of fields. Advanced literature and philosophy, music decoding, geo-tracking, cryptology, advanced mathematics, 
these aren't exactly layman fields of knowledge. Like, this is all very complicated stuff, and people who are trying to gain access to Cicada 3301 have to be pro more than proficient, have to be expert in all of these things. And the fact that that is possible in the world we live in is just... We are capable of that sort of knowledge. We are capable of that sort of logic. We are that smart. Not all of us. A good portion of some of us. We're getting to... There's going to be more of us eventually, I'm sure, if people did their homework. And maybe we're lucky in that sense. Maybe Cicada 3301 is this secretive organization that is trying to fix some of the world problems using these insanely intelligent people. Maybe they're trying to find solutions to some of the most complex problems we have. Like, you don't pair mathematics and philosophy together for shits and giggles. Those are two completely different fields. I don't know. I think it's pretty neat. I think Cicada 3301 is a really interesting mystery. It's a really fascinating part of the internet is a really good exploration into how our culture is evolving over a digital age, over a digital format. And as always, if you like this video, leave a big old thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave a big old thumbs down. Until the next video, TT for now. I think I might use that from now on.